कैन यू हियर मी गुड इवनिंग विल स्टार्ट द सेशन विल डिस्कस अबाउट द निफ्टी सो हियर निफ्टी एज अ पर वीकली चार्ट इट्स आर एस आई इज स्टैंडिंग स्टील अब सिग्नल लाइन इवन एम एस सी डी स्टैंडिंग अब सिग्नल लाइन आर एस आई इज इन डायवर्जन्स सो इट इज वेरी रिस्की टू शॉर्ट सेल एट ई सिक्स लेवल दैट इज सेवन सेवन फाइव जीरो लेवल टेक अ शॉर्ट सेल पोजिशन एट सेवन सेवन फाइव जीरो will be little bit risky because again the stock will start going going up so if you take a short sell position at somewhere higher than e6 of weekly that is 7900 around this level then it is comfortable so try to short sell away from e6 because if you take a short sell at e6 level suddenly stock will keep on rising again and then again from 7900 it will come down so it is remaining in range bound so it is very small range it is very small range and msd here is about signal line in weekly chart if you check the msd is about signal line so buying at lower level and selling at higher level is possible because of the two reason that is monthly RSI is above signal line, so whenever the stock comes here, and with respect to weekly MACD is above signal line, so whenever the stock if it comes to lower end, again buying will start. So because of these two reasons, and it will show you selling at higher level because of quarterly is weak. so whenever it goes to higher level again repetitively it comes in sell position with respect to quarterly and daily decay to divergence so always you try to short sell away from e6 even in daily charts or weekly charts so that you will be comfortable for trading so it is just a intraday trading trades most possibly are useful for this type of trade this session is because range is very small suddenly it goes into buy suddenly it goes into sells this repeatedly why the market is coming up when it goes away from short average immediately it comes to short average so it has continuously happening for so many days because weekly rsi is still above signal line MACD is above signal line, and still the thing is in bullish frame with respect to weekly chart. And RSI of monthly chart is above signal line. So, but retracement up to seven thousand three hundred, that is sixty-two percent of the fall is expected. Now it will take a time; it will decrease the highs then decrease the lows so it takes time at least one week or another week is within the two weeks market will show you proper direction of going down and when is what are the trade you take that generally it takes in intraday don't trade against weekly chart and h3 chart because if you find the weekly is bull and h3 is bull then it is about about to rise so intraday trades we will discuss about the how to take intraday trades because it is less margin trades it will be the less margin trades 
so you have to take properly so what we should do is we should select the stock for example i think ashok leland is a good for short selling when you find the stock is giving close above close below is is and rsi check this rsi weekly is weak already and check this rsi when you sustain below signal line when you sustain below signal line then you can think for short selling but how to take intraday trades just you check h1 chart when this rsi weekly weekly is always bear it should be bear and this rsi below signal line and here the rsi goes below signal line with the close below short average then think for short selling so immediately they cover it it will the stock will have the positional prospect because of weekly chart weekly is weak so that's why we are taking the position but as the market is range bound suddenly it goes into buy and suddenly you find the stock is going up so whatever you take a trade because even it goes away from e6 it will try to meet e6 immediately because of the market condition so this stock is a weak so prefer weak stocks and then check h3 chart prefer weak stock stock with respect to quarterly weekly or monthly daily that is monthly daily it comes bata india monthly daily or you can prefer biocon even monthly daily so it, when it gives the close below short average you can think for short selling and this is monthly daily uh, now this month it won't come but next month it will definitely it will fall to this level so if next month so in this bullish scenario will remain till the end of may till the may end or it will come to weekly six around 600 again the buying will come and then next month the expected fall so prefer this such stocks where gap between e6 and e30 in daily chart should be wide and it should be quarterly week or monthly week now this is not a proper one monthly week you can think and give the stock but this one quarterly week monthly is bull but weekly weekly is also I mean it will come down here till here because the range is small so your profit will be small so if you prefer the stocks which which are weekly week weekly week and h3 now this is an mcd is above signal line so it is what look risky to short sell so it should be below signal line rsi below signal line and h3 h1 close immediately close below e6 this is not the correct one so i'll show the correct one i got an ashok leland is the correct example another i have you can take bel is another correct example so this is rsi sustaining below signal line and may giving close and try to short sell at e6 level so this rsi plays very important role h3 rsi plays very important role and even one h3 rsi plays very important role and 
H1 RSF plays very important role for intraday trades. So now for example another for buyer side DV slab. TV slab. It bullish prospect and when it close above is short average and RSI above signal line in buy. It will have the bullish prospect because of the weekly is bull. One minute. will have a very small range so whatever it takes now you have to find the stocks which are having large range that you can take for short selling but as a uh, as RSI of weekly and monthly standing above signal line whenever the market suddenly it goes down it can come up easily in next three hours or four hours immediately or next day. So always take a short sell position or long position or whatever it is for intraday or cover it immediately because it is a like a, a not a proper trend. So in other stock it is RSI of monthly most of the cases the RSI of monthly is above signal line. So or weekly above signal line. So suddenly when it goes, stock goes down, suddenly it comes up. So better take an intraday trades. Now what will be the further scenario of Nifty? We can discuss. First of all, Nifty will show this movement like this or like this. Think that it is unable to sustain above 8100. Then it will keep on coming down slowly, slowly, but immediately it will, when it comes to E6 level, immediately it will go to higher level. Whenever it comes to below E6, immediately it will go to higher level because of monthly RSI. So when it comes down, suddenly it will go up. And once this RSI sustain below signal line, monthly RSI sustaining below signal line with close price, in monthly chart below short average and mid average then next month you will see a big fall and the such thing happens if RSI of monthly chart becomes below signal line and sustained below signal line it comes below signal line like this It comes below signal line and this is average line and sustain below signal line with close below short average then market will fall means it will go it will show some bearishness and I think then market to survive the market is very difficult. So market then after that market will touch 6400 or even below that level but that will not happen immediately but the thing is further we are we are discussing about the further moment so 
current moment you have to buy year and sell year or sell year and buy year that will be the one or two weeks but if unable to sustain highest level then and gives the close below short average and mid average of monthly chart and with RSI sustaining below signal line then the market will become weak and thereafter market will show a proper lower end means below this level so that is just an assumption that you have to keep in mind okay then the buying is will not be preferable so market is going to make a new low that time so but it will take time because of this MACD because of monthly RSI monthly RSI doesn't suddenly doesn't come to below signal line it takes always whenever it touch signal line buying will come so large pressure is required to sell the stock so better if you are buyer side or if you are seller side for two next two weeks then you should be intraday because market can behave anyway okay. so prefer intraday trades for next week or further week so that uh, next month we will discuss about the how the market will behave or what is that scenario is forming. So current week or one more week you can think for that at lower end or higher end. Lower end is buy, higher end is sale. But market should open at flat position or somewhere between E6 and E30 of daily chart. Uh, or E6 and E30 of H3 chat then the, you will see that the thing will be working but overnight the market comes it is at least it will be the, like a stretching the thing for bearishness and uh, as, as much it is stretched more will be impact so be careful don't carry huge position overnight and uh, com be comfortable okay? so that uh, regular trades you will success so we, you have to trade with weekly chart and uh, because the, they ha it, it is the, that just a stretching for making a bear so selling is there between this range and once something means the divergences are formed in daily chart you will come to know that and close below E6 in daily chart where the quarterly chart is weak or nifty close below E6 in daily chart is risky to hold buy position because next day market can collapse anything so sudden but collapse that is that will think take it in overnight suddenly you will see the fall so, so it is better that you take a intraday trades, complete the trades and uh, square up in within the day and uh, think for next day. So how to find the trades that we will discuss again for intraday trades for buyer side search where this MACD above signal line weekly MACD above signal line and price is touching short average so that you get a buy position properly then go to H3 chart select now here the RSI is above signal line but MACD is not above signal line so select stocks where MACD and RSI are both standing above signal line that DV slab was there this one RSI and MACD both above signal line and whenever the H1 gives a close above E6, 
then you buy with strict stop loss of lower end so that and square up in the intraday exit because again the stock is going to come down so better you exit and profit then for seller side weekly you must prefer trade with respect to weekly chart this one is there okay intra intraday trade it is a intraday trade just this is rss sustaining your signal i have best example of ashok leland even sun pharma is weak but don't take complete this because suddenly it will start coming down coming up it's this way does properly this one is there okay this one is there capacity now this mcd is below signal line rsi below signal not should not be up above signal line it should not be this case it should be below signal line and h1 chart close below short average and rsi below signal line you immediately take a short sell position and cover in the within the day this rsi of h3 should favor sell if you find the rsi sustaining above signal line and this rsi comes month daily rsi comes below signal line and if you try to try to short sell it will go up so this rsi h3 rsi plays important role for trade so this rsi is sustaining below signal line and this is sustaining below signal line but selection should be with respect to weekly chart this is for execution the trade and selection as per weekly chart Yes, if you try to do this part for this stock, it will not work. Short sale will not work. So proper stay trades. Ashok Leyland is the best example. Yeah, this is there. Okay. current stock ashok leland is there uh, another stock one minute i will give you the stock adani power one ashok leland is the best ambuja cement will also work in that way for short selling this ashok leland is the best one bl is another best best this is this is also good bharat forge means is also for short sell in whatever they should trade that will be the intraday talking about the intraday trades you should have the positional prospect so that you get repetitively such type of trades
otherwise if you don't want to trade intraday remain away from the market take a short sell in nifty for somewhere here 7900 and put a stop loss of 8000 and wait that is the only solution if you don't want to take a intraday trades means 7900 around that level that's high midpoint of this level take a short sell put a strict stop loss of 8000 significant high and hold the position So I have two examples only for short sale, best example. During market we can think for many more examples. This is a buy. Uh, this you can take. IOB. This is also coming down huh? 11 any questions Relax Infra will be short sell for this week if you want to buy then buy at 7200 level below that level don't buy at this level Tata still will be there for next week. Okay, any questions from your end? Uh, hello sir, uh, for delivery by is it uh, Jindal still, Bank of India, uh, Jindal still, is it possible for this at this level? delivery by I think 54 will be the best price 54 is the best price right? okay. don't buy it this one. allow it to come to the day, uh, because in daily uh, daily it is giving close going down so it will make a good uh, gap between short average and mid average and there you can think for buying. Allow it to fall. Okay. I'm about to fall, right? Okay. Yeah, because of, because weekly and uh, in uh, actual it has given a close above E6. Ah, it is quarterly uh, below E6. No, RSI is still below signal line. So okay. it will be, at least it will monthly it will show, yeah, weekly it will show. 78% retracement mm -hmm. so that comes to be I think 54 or 52 okay, okay. Apollo hospital it is weak over what it is but intraday trade is successful for this way because uh, if you take a positional trade it can show you 1410 again or can go little higher again because this is what 
one four five euro is the sale price for this stock. Quarterly is okay. So overbought it is not we. But uh, if when it comes above, is it will go up again. That thing will happen. Okay, or Nifty range bound hai. Nifty is range bound and uh, between seven seven five zero and seven nine zero zero or seven nine two zero. So if you keep on taking a range. Pankaj, just you, I have extend in the, for the audio, means uh, you can, I uh, recorded it, I will publish it, okay, you can hear, because many times, it is, okay sir, no problem, no problem, thank you, rallies India, Delivered by you can hold till it become this gap larger. Any problem? Anyone? Can you conclude? Pankaj? Yes, sir. Pankaj? Hello, Pankaj. Sir. Ah, I have explained the ah, thing sir. properly three times, correct? Na? Because it is a. Okay. 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 So if you don't understand then please call up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. If you don't understand, you call me per record it. It is recorded. And uh, if you don't understand, please call. No problem. Okay. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Good night.